let's go to the mission builder and let's try and put a rocket into orbit using just the mission nodes, right? So I, I'm not going to touch any controls. But what we're going to do is use things like uh, activate stage and part failures and stuff and try and put a rocket into orbit. What do you think? Okay, so let's, uh, let's first of all think about how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is as soon as it loads, we're going to activate our first stage, right, on this thing. And then we're going to basically activate stage one, right? And then the next thing we're going to do is wait time since node. So that it'll be time since node blah. And we'll put that in and it'll be time since activate stage one. And then we'll activate the next stage. But first of all, we need to come up with a vessel that can get us into orbit, right? We'll call it auto. Two seconds. And then activate stage four. Right, so we just don't know how long it is since this is the one that we don't know. We don't know how long this should be, right? So let's save this and launch it and see what happens. So I shouldn't have to touch anything. It should just do this on its own. Awesome! That was quite impressive, I have to say. So, computers, you just can't trust them. <laughs> I like how the fairing is intact, but everything inside it exploded. 10 out of 10 would rock it again. Maybe I should just get rid of that center core. I'm going to do that first. And then we'll also tell it uh, auto strut to, it says grandparent part. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. So I'm hopefully not going to need to touch anything here. The real question is how high will this thing get? Will it actually get all the way to space? Uh, other stuff. Are you sure you don't need more boosters? I honestly don't know. Maybe I should actually fix these boosters so that they are less thrusty it looks like a water tower that's right we are going to put the world's first water tower in space no achievement will be so great or wait what's the word we choose to put this water tower in space not because it is easy but because we need drinking water in space and we find that zero gravity is very helpful for that so that's good. It doesn't actually show us how far this thing is going to get. Why can't I see the... Why can't I see? And we're kind of losing control here. Well, what's going to be interesting is if this thing fires in roughly the right direction. What I'm, i got, I got to pay attention to is like when it reaches the highest point of its flight. Well, I want to see four minutes and... Okay, 4 minutes 20, right, so let's let's reset this mission. <sighs> I've challenged everyday astronaut to make a Minuteman 3. Well, the problem with Minuteman 3 is that Kerbal Space Program doesn't have the thrust termination system that the Minuteman 3 has. Solid rocket boosters generally don't have any ability to terminate their thrust, whereas the Minuteman 3 does. Are the fins causing too much control in keeping the grav turn? No, we're not doing grav turns. We are doing crazy tornado type things. What's up with the nav ball? The nav ball is confused because the spacecraft on top is at 90 degrees. So that really, in short, Kendoka 15 is correct. It is drunk. That's the only way to describe this. But I'm curious to see how it fails. Maybe, maybe I'm going to cheat on this first one, right? Oh, apparently I can't do this while moving across terrain. That is not a message I expect to have at this time. 
<laughs> I cannot time warp because I am spinning too fast. What's slowing its rotation? What is slowing its rotation is the fact that Kerbal Space Program and many other games that use physics engines, they only use the Euler method for integrating the math forwards. And uh, it causes all sorts of things. It causes your errors, basically, to creep into the uh, mathematics. Okay, so actually, we should have set our timer to about four minutes, but let's just see how this how this goes. We're still spinning at quite a fast speed. Can I? Can you explain thrust termination? Okay, so thrust termination systems is what you get on ICBMs because, of course, ICBMs need to. They they are solid rocket motors for you know reliability and uh, you know, storability reasons. The problem with solid rocket motors is normally... Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> that is not what we expected to have happen. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> I made a pulsar, yes. I like how the thing just went faster and faster and faster. So anyway, yeah, so the Minuteman is a three-stage solid rocket, uh, rocket, right? So the first stage fires to completion, second stage fires to completion, the third stage, that's where they're getting ready to hit the target at a specific range. So it starts burning and then they have the ability to blow out panels on the side so that the, th the combusting fuel goes into the thrust chamber and it goes forwards and backwards, cancelling out the thrust suddenly. In fact, they actually tend to want slightly negative thrust because that means that they can detach the payload without worrying about it hitting the uh, hitting the warheads or hitting the booster. So yeah, that's what happens with nuclear missiles, ICBMs, Minutemen. So anyway, that's something that Kerbal Space Program doesn't have, is a thrust termination system. And... Let's see what way it ends up pointing now. Yeah, it is amazing! That is an amazing demonstration of, uh... Conservation of angular momentum. So let's, uh... So that, wait a second, that pushes me that way around, so I need two of these... to cut, cancel out the rotation. I'm going to set this to, like, the tiniest amount of this. Okay, so for stability, spin stabilized all the fins. And so it's going to go fire at 4 minutes and 10 seconds, right? Oh, here we go. Okay, so that's... What we can do now is return to the mission builder, right? And we can actually restart it and we can change the values. So. Obviously, this thing needed to fire for a few more seconds, so it said two seconds. So let's make that uh, eight seconds, right? So maybe these should be firing a little sooner. That's I'm, I'm guessing what I'm saying. That's a little too long. But we might have it! Not quite. <laughs> oh, we're so close! We're so close there! Um, but what I'm just going to do is give it just enough spin to get it started. Okay, stop. Oh, look at that! Now, can it keep this up? Can it remain stable for long enough? We're actually going retrograde here, so I hope I have enough Delta V in this thing. <laughs> I think we're doing it! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, we did it! We did it! We got it! We got into a retrograde orbit! <laughs> Victory!
This, these things are still firing. <laughs> Excellent! So, I mean, that was a different, completely different way of doing it. Now, next challenge, can I get it to the moon? Well, honestly, I'm not going to find that out tonight, but I might just do that sometime. Mm -hmm.